Hello Libra and happy, happy birthday to my Libras. Um, I am here to do your October monthly reading. So um, the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Be My Lover. Um, you wanna know by right now if you wanna be my lover, wanna be my lover. Do 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 you wanna Great song, great beat. Um, throwing it back old school. So is this what you're communicating to somebody? Like, are you asking somebody? I feel like you're dealing with somebody, definitely past person, definitely somebody you've been dealing with for a while. Uh, and that's kind of the gist of it. It's like, you ought to know by now if you want to be my lover. They ought to know. They ought to know. So I feel like you're just throwing it out there now. Uh, you're not going to be putting up with the bullshit. So let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. Overall energy between you and another person. Mmm, the moon in reverse. Are we dealing with a cancer? Dealing with a water sign? Um, ooh, I think things are going to come to light this month for you. Granted, because the sun is in Libra, so we are illuminating. We are illuminating Libra right now. Things will come to light, I feel like. Anything that you're in the dark about, anything you're in confusion about, I feel like you're you're starting to understand it. Sorry if I put my hands on the thing. Um, yeah, I see you. We've got the Nine of Wands here clarifying the moon. I see you kind of uncovering the truth about something. Um... But I see you still moving forward. I still see you like, you know, I don't think you're going to give up on this situation or give up on whatever it is that you are becoming enlightened about. Because, um, you know, you know what the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, there to fight in, like one more fight. I feel like whatever's burdening you it's not going to be burdening you for much longer. So maybe like being in the dark about somebody's feelings has been burdening you, but it's about to come to light soon. So whatever's been burdening you, the weight's going to be lifted. So let's take a look at the individual energies. The Knave of Cups. Yep, that's that's what I was expecting. The King of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and say that's you, Libra. Um. Okay, so... The Knave of Cups being here, I feel like you're going to get that confession of feelings. Oh, God, okay. One second. A lot dropped out. Oh, man. Okay, I hate when that happens. All right, so, ooh, yikes. Um, we've got the Knave of Cups here, but the clarifiers... The clarifiers are not not great cards. We've got the Eight of Swords, um, the Death in Reverse, and then the Three of Swords. So I feel like this is something that, for the both of you, has been kind of strenuous. It's been very difficult emotionally for the both of you, not just one of you, the both of you. And I feel like you're getting ready to have that serious conversation. Like this King of Swords is coming to like... Almost lay down the law. Um, but if you start off as the King of Swords, I do see you moving into the Queen of Cups. Like, I see you. And the fact that the Knave of Cups is here, like, there's just a lot of pain surrounding this relationship. And I think it's because you aren't communicating your emotions. Neither one of you are. And you both have emo emotions to communicate, but you're not communicating them. So... There's like a lot of indecision, there's a lot of hurt, but I just also don't see you guys being able to like end it. So I see there being a conversation, I see there being um, it's like some kind of like, you know, this king of, king of swords who's a serious guy. So I see there being some kind of communication here that leads to feelings. You might go in with the intention that it's not going to, it's going to be like ending things, but... I think what it actually is going to lead to is feelings. Feelings being communicated. Oh, there it is. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. 
lots of communication, the wheel, the wheel and the mutual energy and the knight of wands in the, in your energy. All right, let's see what that ace of swords is. Libra, are you the one that's in and out? This person could see you as being inconsistent. I feel like there's something that this person is going to communicate to you. Like we've got the nine of swords here in reverse. Um, so it's like there's stress and anxiety. They've been anxious about this, but not anymore. They're ready to just communicate. They're ready to either move forward on their life or, um, you know, be done with this. But I feel like you're in the same boat. You are wanting the same things. Like I feel like you're in a situation right now where... Um, you need to have these conversations because you're kind of questioning. You're like, is what I've been after for the last however so long you've been dealing with this person, is this still even what I want? I feel like that's what you're questioning right now. Is this relationship even what I want anymore? That's something I think you'll have to figure out. Hmm, okay, so oh, I feel like there's been a lot of arguing with this person. I feel like this person may have like cut you out for a little bit, but they're going to actually come through and communicate with you. This person, I feel like, definitely gave you the cold shoulder here. There could have even been a breakup. Oh, man. Yeah, you guys definitely need to have a conversation because I see a little... A lot of flip-flopping like it's like you want to give love to this person but then you kind of got to a point where you're like I have to give this to myself there is a lot of love here but there's been like the cold shoulder there's been like the cold shoulder and I think like this has been burdening you Libra this has been burdening you that this person's giving you the cold shoulder or that you know it could also be vice versa but I really see that whatever when it comes to your birthday season when it comes to libra season things are actually going to be illuminated things are going to be there's going to be a lot of enlightenments and there's going to be a lot of enlightenments in regards to this relationship especially communicating i think there's positives coming out of this communication whether it's um, re-getting in touch with your emotions for yourself or re-getting in touch with your emotions for your connection with this person. But I definitely see some positives here. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. In the extent I'm going to be doing messages from this person, actions this person's planning on taking, advice from spirit, as well as how to move forward, what is blocking this connection. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you there. Bye.